Deserts by Gail Gibbons. Dry ground, bright sunshine. It is hot and the sky is clear. It is daytime on the desert. A desert is a place that is very dry. In most deserts, it rains less than 10 inches a year. Some deserts of the world. Scientists believe most deserts are up to a few thousand years old. Some are much older. Where they formed, the climate slowly changed from being cool and wet to warm and dry. Deserts cover one fifth of Earth's land surface. Most dry, hot deserts are near the equator. Winds bring dry and cloudless days. When the sun is high in the sky, the temperature can be well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 38 degrees Celsius. When the sun sets, the temperature drops sharply. It gets cooler. There is no cloud cover to hold the heat. Deserts can be sandy or rocky. About one fifth of all deserts are sandy. Over many years, wind and other elements wore away and broke down rocks into tiny grains of sand. Sandy deserts can look different. Some sandy desert floors look like rippled water. Wind blows the sand, changing its appearance. Sandy desert, rocky desert. Others look uneven and lumpy. If something is in the sand's way, sand piles up behind it. On some sandy deserts, strong winds blow the sand into smooth hills called dunes. Over time, dunes can move. Rocky deserts can look different and very strange. Often, windblown sand wears rocks into odd shapes. Many deserts have jagged rocks. Sudden rains along with heat and cold crack the rocks and pieces break away. Columns, mesa, butte, arch, canyon. Often the rain falls hard and fast. It runs off and sinks into the ground or evaporates. Few plants and animals can live in the desert because it is so dry and hot. The ones that do live there have adapted to living without much water. Many plants that live in the desert are called succulents. They take rainwater up through their roots to store in their leaves or stems for use during dry, hot spells. Prickly pear cactus stem. Suaro cactus, organ pipe cactus, century plant. A cactus is a succulent desert plant. The waxy surface on the stem helps keep in its water. Some have pleats that allow the cactus to expand with water when it rains. The cactus puffs up and the pleats almost disappear. As it uses up its water, the pleats become more visible again. Pleats. Most cactus plants have thorns, also called spines. These protect the plant from hungry animals. They also break up the hot desert wind and shade the branches and stems from the intense sunlight. Desert plants need to get as much water as possible to survive. Some grow deep tap roots. Sometimes these roots go down over 100 feet to get water. Others grow shallow roots that spread out quickly to absorb water from the lightest rainfall. Many desert plants dry up and wither during the hottest parts of the year. 
But the water they have stored in their underground roots, tubers and bulbs, is usually enough to keep them alive until the next time rain falls. A tuber is a fleshy underground stem. In some deserts, when it finally does rain, parts of the desert can be covered in desert flowers. They have grown from seeds that have been lying there for many years. These seeds grow into plants when there's just the right amount of rain at the right time of year. Desert flowers bloom for just a short time. Insects drink nectar from them. Pollination happens when insects spread pollen from one flower to another. This process allows the flowers to make new seeds that drop to the ground. Those seeds will grow and flower another time. Night is the time when most insects, birds, and other animals become active in the desert. The starlit sky is clear and the air is cooler. The creatures begin to move about. A honeypot ant stores nectar in its body. A pinnacle beetle creeps around the desert floor. A golden wheel spider folds up its legs and then can cartwheel down a sand dune to escape anything that bothers it. A scorpion is busy hunting for insects and other small animals in the sand. It kills its food with a poisonous stinger in its tail. Lizards and snakes move along the desert floor. The gecko lizard flicks its sticky tongue to catch insects. The fringe toad lizard can dig itself into the sand for protection within seconds to escape enemies. The horned lizard is covered with sharp points for protection. The gila monster is a big poisonous lizard. Some desert snakes are dangerous. They hunt mice, lizards, birds, and other small animals. Some bite with a poisonous venom and swallow their prey. A sidewinder rattlesnake slithers sideways across the sand. Its body leaves wavy marks behind. The inland taipan is the most poisonous snake in the world. Inland taipan. Lizards and snakes are reptiles. A reptile is a cold-blooded animal that crawls or moves on its belly or on its short legs. Western diamondback rattlesnake, sidewinder rattlesnake. Some desert birds live in cactus plants. Sometimes pairs of gila woodpeckers nest inside a tall saguaro cactus. When they abandon the nest, other birds, such as the elf owl, moves in. Vultures are very big desert birds. They live off dead animals. They are scavengers and help keep the desert clean. The road runner is a very fast desert bird. It runs quickly to catch insects, lizards, and snakes. It hardly ever flies. The road runner can run as fast as 23 miles an hour. Other desert creatures move about. A kangaroo rat is a small animal that is about a foot long. It can jump 10 feet at a time. It eats mostly seeds. A jackrabbit doesn't need to drink much water. It gets most of its waters from the plants it eats. A jackrabbit can leap 15 feet at a time. Desert creatures have to watch out for coyotes. They look a lot like a dog with a bushy tail. Coyotes bark, howl, and whimper to communicate with other coyotes. At night, a coyote's howl sounds lonely. Desert skunks eat almost anything. Many deserts are home for badgers, ground squirrels, bobcats, and many other animals. Most of them are small. There isn't enough food and water in the desert for large wild animals to survive. 
Some people live in deserts. Often they live in groups called tribes. Some tribes are nomadic. This means they move from one place to another, often carrying and trading goods. They may travel from oasis to oasis. An oasis is a place in the desert where there are trees, plants, and water. Desert people live in harsh conditions. Some wear special clothing to protect them from the sun and sand. Some use camels to get around. Their wide feet allow them to walk over soft desert sand without sinking in. Long eyelashes and thin eyelids, which they can see through when closed, keep sand out of their eyes. They can shut their nostrils to keep sand out too. Camels can go for days without water and food while traveling across the desert sands. Some scientists believe camels live off the fat stored in the humps on their backs. They can carry heavy loads up to a thousand pounds. A dromedary camel has one hump and is native to Arabian deserts. A Bactrian camel has two humps and is native to Central Asia. Many natural resources have been found under desert floors. Oil, natural gas, nickel, and sodium nitrate have been found under the Arabian, Sahara, American, and Australian deserts. Gold and diamonds also have been found under deserts. Sodium nitrate is used in fertilizer. Fertilizer is used to make plants grow. Deserts have some of the most interesting landscapes in the world. These hot, rocky, and sandy places are home to many plants and animals. Deserts are alive with mystery and beauty. Deserts, deserts, deserts. The Atacama Desert in Northern Chile is the driest desert in the world. Parts of that desert have had no rain in 400 years. The Sahara Desert in North Africa is about the size of the entire United States. Some sandstorms can be so powerful, they can whip up sand as high as 10,000 feet. Sand dunes move. The wind blows up one side of a sand dune and slips down the other side. Dunes can move as much as 150 feet a year. Many desert buildings called adobes are built from mud bricks. The hottest temperature ever measured in the shade was 136 degrees Fahrenheit, 58 degrees Celsius in the Sahara Desert in 1922. Desertification is when scrub and grasslands become dry and barren. Approximately 75,000 square miles of new desert is created each year. Some of this has happened because of overgrazing. Overgrazing is when animals eat all of the grass and plants and the soil dries up and blows away. Some deserts are very cold. The Earth's polar regions are called cold deserts where any moisture quickly freezes. Sand dunes in the Sahara Desert can be as high as 1,000 feet and can stretch for miles. African Bushmen living in the Kalahari Desert oil their bodies. Then the desert dust covers their skin to protect them from the sun. <laughs>